Hello again. We are continuing our discussion on writing linear equations by talking specifically about how to write equations for horizontal and vertical lines. So let's get started. Um, what I've done is I've drawn a red horizontal line on this graph and we're going to try and find the equation of that line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some points that are on that line. So this purple point right here has coordinates 1 and 5. This green dot has coordinates negative 3 and 5. The blue dot has coordinates 2 and 5. And so as you can see, there's really no relationship per se between x and y. Um, x is pretty much whatever you want it to be, but y is always 5. Um, and you could find more points on that line as well, and you would see the same thing. The x is just some random number, and y is 5. So the equation for that line is just written as y equals 5. You don't include any kind of mention of x in that equation because it doesn't matter. y is always 5, no matter what x is. All right, here's another one. I've drawn a new red line. I need to find the equation of that one. So we'll find some points. That purple one is 5, negative 2. The coordinates of the green one are 1, negative 2 and the coordinates of the blue one are negative 4, negative 2. So once again, x is just a bunch of numbers, random numbers, but y is always negative 2. So my equation, again, is y equals negative 2. So hopefully you can see a pattern here that any horizontal line is going to have the equation y equals whatever number is common to all of the y coordinates. And to make your life easier, you can just look at where that horizontal line crosses the y-axis and that will tell you right there um, what the equation is, y equals that number. All right, so now let's look at vertical lines. This is a red vertical line, and I need to find the equation of that line. So again, I'm going to find some points and see what they have in common. That purple point has coordinates 3 and 2. The green point has coordinates 3 and negative 4 and the blue point has coordinates 3 and 0. So a similar problem, but slightly different. Um, again, there's no relationship between x and y. y doesn't depend on x. y can be whatever it wants to be, but x is always 3 in every one of those uh, coordinates. So the equation is going to be x equals 3, and in this case, there's no mention of y because y doesn't matter. Um, x is just going to be 3, and y can be whatever it wants to be. Okay, and our last example, here's another vertical line. Again, I'm going to find some points that are on that line. Uh, the purple point is negative 1, negative 5. The green point is negative 1 and 1. And the blue point is negative 1 and 3. And as you can see, again, there's no relationship between x and y. y can be whatever it wants, but x has to be negative 1. So my equation is x equals negative 1. So hopefully you can see the pattern now that... Um, no matter what the vertical line is, the formula for it is x equals some number. And again, to figure out what that number is, you can always look and see where that vertical line crosses the x-axis. Um, and that will tell you what the formula is or the equation is for that line. So that is it for horizontal and vertical lines. Basically just two formulas to remember, very easy ones, um, one letter each. So if you have any questions, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.